And joining us now is another very special guest. He is a part of the John Carroll offensive line, and he was named the Ken Wabel Award winner for the spring 2021 season, that award being for most outstanding offensive lineman in the OAC. Folks, it's my pleasure to introduce John Carroll left tackle Blake Herodine. Blake, how's it going? Going pretty well. How about you? It's going well. All right, so we're just going to dive into your high school, well, actually high school and college career both. You did get to play with your brother Nick, uh, both at Walsh Jesuit High School here in Northeast Ohio and at John Carroll. How much does it mean to you that you were able to play with him for both of those schools, and did he recruit you here to John Carroll? So me and Nick have really a close bond together. We're twin brothers, so having that on the bond, like on the field, like connection is just like amazing. Like we love playing football together. We grew up playing football. Our dad like instilled playing football in us, and we just absolutely loved it. And so being like on the Walsh Jesuit team, it was really like just. Us growing together as brothers, really connecting with each other. And then he really wanted to come to John Carroll, and I was just like on the border, maybe going to somewhere else to play football. But he really brought me here just because he knew he was going to play too. So he, it was really special that we both got to play here too as well. And I'd have to say it definitely was special having you both be on the same offensive line yep. at John Carroll. And now kind of talking a bit more about you personally. So... For the spring 2021 season, as I previously mentioned here, you were named the Ken Wabel Award winner for the OAC, which recognizes the most outstanding offensive lineman. How did it feel to uh, be bestowed that prestigious honor? It was really great. I really, it like just all the hard work I put into this football game and it's just having some like validation was really good to like just feel and it was really great. I, yeah, it was great. And uh, you actually were also named a first-team All-American in the spring by D3Football.com as well. Yep. And so for you personally, once again, you know, being a fifth-year senior, you're one of the more experienced members of this John Carroll Blue Streak offense. What made you decide to come back for that extra year? So I had a little bit of like a struggle deciding. So there's a, some family members really just wanted me to go out and get a job and then another other other family members like you can get a job whenever you want you can't play football whenever you want so that's what really made me decide I just knew I couldn't just hang up the cleats one more time I just needed to play another season just to see it out yeah very good and you've played both right and left tackle during your JCU career and you started at left tackle for this entire season how difficult was it for you to switch positions I'd have to say from an outside perspective it might seem pretty easy but I'd have to guess it's probably not as easy as it looks. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit of a struggle. Like you just have to like re like tweak your mind to like get the steps into the different position. Like on the right side, I feel more comfortable actually. So I I liked playing right tackle a lot, but I just knew that the team needed a left tackle, like a really strong left tackle. So I made the transition, and once the summer hit, I just was practicing left tackle the whole time. So it's really. I got into the groove of playing at left tackle, so it was not too bad after that. And kind of building into that position change, it kind of reminds me of Cleveland Browns offensive tackle Jedrick Wills. He originally played right tackle at the University of Alabama and had to make that switch over to left tackle. So I guess it kind of builds into this question. Do you have any offensive linemen that you try to model your game after? And if so, who might they be and why? So actually, I'm not a huge NFL fan, so I really just, I'm a college guy, so I love watching Ohio State, so I really learned from, like, the Ohio State offense linemen, so, like, I just, and, like, Twitter a lot, you just see a lot of O-line information, just new techniques, new, like, different, like, uh, techniques, and, like, yeah, so I pretty much look around, like, with coaches almost more than players. Interesting. And now just kind of talking about last week's performance, it didn't end the way you guys wanted a tough uh, 27-21 overtime loss at Heidelberg. But you guys did have 434 yards of total offense, including 180 on the ground. What would you say was working for the offensive line as a whole, and how can the offense build on to this performance against Baldwin Wallace? Yeah, so we knew we needed to run the ball to be successful in that game, so we really str- like stressed it throughout the week, and we the O-line just really knew that, like, we've had a few, like, bad performances with rushing yards, so we really needed to shock the world almost and really punch them in the mouth almost and, like, really, like, show up. So we really did, like, I think a great job stepping up to that plate and doing really well. 
And Baldwin Wallace coming into this one, only one loss. They're ranked in the D3Football.com top 25. They're looking for potentially an at-large bid in the Division Three NCAA football tournament. How much would it mean to you guys to be able to end that season on a high note and maybe potentially knock them out of the D3 football playoffs? We would love that. That's exactly what we're trying to do here. And we know that this BW team's definitely a good team that we got to show up and actually do really well. So we're excited to be out there. And you guys are going to be looking for the ninth straight Cuyahoga Gold Bowl trophy, the Rock. And this kind of looks at your John Carroll football career as a whole. What would you say is your favorite JCU football memory, either on or off the field? So well, I had a few games that I really enjoyed playing in. So it's definitely uh, ONU. I really love playing against ONU. They're just a, such a great team that it's really fun to play against a great team. And I, this year was a really great game for us. And so, and then so one of my favorite memories off the field was just grinding in the weight room with the the team. It's just such a great atmosphere in there. Everyone pushing each other to get better, and just really special. So definitely the brotherhood has been uh, a great part of your John Carroll career so far. Absolutely, yep. It's great to hear, Blake. John Carroll left tackle Blake Herodine is our guest on the John Carroll Football Preview Show. We're going to kind of transition off the gridiron and talk about things outside of the football field here. So at the moment, do you have any plans in mind for once your time at John Carroll is complete? So I got a finance degree at John Carroll, and now I'm in the MBA program. So I have to finish out the MBA program and then start looking for a job out in the real world. Absolutely. What do you enjoy doing when you're not on the football field? I actually enjoy playing video games a lot, so I'm really a grinder in video games. So just sports games, and I just yeah, it's just something I really like doing, playing with my friends and stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, I was uh, going to say, speaking of that, a couple of my previous guests have said that you guys have had some Madden tournaments oh, oh, uh, over yeah. the course of the past couple of seasons. Uh, do you uh, take part in those, and how good would you say you are compared to uh, the rest of your teammates? So I'm pretty good at Madden, but there's definitely guys out there that are a lot better with like picking defenses. I'm not as good at picking defenses. I'm good at running the ball, so hopefully I'll improve in those skills in the future. I'd say that makes sense. You know, being the offensive lineman, I'm sure you're somebody looking at the blocking schemes and trying to say, okay, I can run the ball like this. Defense might not see it coming. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome to hear. So we're going to transition into our final segment of our interview for this week. Do you want to thank you once again for taking the time to sit down with us here? It's a bit of a rapid fire type of deal, so by no means are you going to be timed, but it's just going to be quick answers to quick questions to let the John Carroll faithful get to know you a little bit better. Are you ready? Ready. Awesome. All right. Favorite food? Uh, fried chicken. All right. Favorite show? Rick and Morty. Awesome. Favorite movie? Friday Night Lights. Makes sense. Football? Oh, yeah. Certainly goes well. Yeah. Uh, favorite musician? Drake. And uh, would you say he's somebody you listen to pregame Absolutely. also? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Very good. Uh, favorite book? Uh, Catcher in the Rye. All right. Favorite current player? Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Uh, he's probably somebody you'd enjoy protecting, you Absolutely, know, yeah, having him yeah. behind you. Very good. Uh, how about your favorite all-time player? Uh, LaDainian Thomason. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, running back, you know, certainly goes with blocking on the offensive line. Yep. Very good. And how about finally your favorite type of block? I like cutting off people, so like backside of a zone play, I really enjoy. Oh, okay, so that's kind of like if it's a run to the left, you're yeah, on the backside, backside and yep. you prevent the guy from running all the way over. Absolutely, yep. Awesome. Well, very good to hear, Blake. And that is actually just about going to wrap it up for our Week 10 interview. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us this week, and best of luck against Baldwin Wallace. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me here, too.